All right, getting into the game. The next game is going to be on Circuit Breaker. In the top right-hand corner in the teal, our Protoss player of the day is going to be Bisu. And once we cut back to the game, in the lower left-hand corner, in the orange, it is the Terran hero, the greatest player of all time, Flash. That's my boy. That's him. <laughs> I, I think at this point, Flash really does take the take the medal for greatest pro player of all time. Like coming back after all these years and winning two back to back ASLs and uh, maybe even winning the next one, that would definitely I mean, seal it, the deal. Was it really even a doubt that he was ever like not the greatest of all time? Well, I mean, if you match his achievements up to like someone like Nada, right? Like it's yeah, that is kind of true. I, yeah. I think at this point, he's probably surpassed Nada. Oh no, I think definitely. He's Nada. Um, Nada's just over the hump. Flash has been continuing to play at a, such a high level for all these years. Um, Nada really had a, bit, a big burst for like those, you know, those couple years that he managed to just basically win every single OSL and MSL. But Flash really has kept the longevity of success, and that's really what separated him, I think. Indeed. So also because I'm a Flash fanboy. So, <laughs> so someone mentioned that there was a bug that caused Remastered to always spawn cross. Is, is that the case here? We've had two cross games in a row, or do you think we've just gotten um, lucky? I did see the spawn position for Flash Jadon, so that's I don't think that's true. Okay, all right, fair enough. Um, so we're going to have a barracks at the front. Uh, this isn't going to be... I don't think this is going to be any kind of crazy aggression, but it does open up the option for Flash to do some sort of a bunker rush if Bisu goes crazy and goes for like a Nexus first or something. Yeah, told next most likely um, would be the case, but he's gone for gateway, so not the case. Uh, most likely, it's just gonna be the one racks, uh, one racks FE build from Flash. Is basically his bread and butter, his most famed build for the Protoss versus Terran matchup, um, because you know you want that barracks there at the front to help wall off. Indeed, <laughs> indeed is becoming my new favorite word. I need to stop saying it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, do you think we'll see? Uh... Do you think we'll see anything crazy from BC, or do you think he's going to go into basically uh, the standard build that he's been doing recently, which is just uh, going to that Reaver drop and taking a fast third into Arbiters? I feel like um, I feel like these players have probably agreed to play pretty standard. I don't think they want to see any really short games and cheesy stuff. So mm -hmm. um, I, I think, yeah, probably just going to go for, you know, the fast Nexus, Reavers, Arbiters, you know, just the gist. Okay, fair enough. Just so we can see all the units, right? So that means he has to yeah. build carriers and arbiters and go for like the full gold, golden armada, right? Oh my god, I actually had a play <laughs> against that last, I, I, uh, last night. I've never <laughs> seen it. I have no idea what that even looks like. <laughs> um, if the player is really keeping tabs on the arbiter control, it looks really, it's really, really good because you have to continuously scan. You can't really, be, you're not able to really get underneath carriers that well with Goliaths. But my guy just like lagged his arbiter. He just he put his arbiter on a follow command on one of the carriers, so it was like lagging behind his carriers. So all I did was just run up and kill the arbiter. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> nice. There's a free arbiter. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Um, so we are going to be seeing a an engineering block coming out, <laughs> engineering bay block coming out from Flash. That's going to be very annoying to deal with, but I don't think that's going to significantly slow down BCU's expansion. Yeah, BC didn't go for the really fast nexus off of one gateway, so this is not too bad for him. It's, it's not going to be stalled by this like whatsoever. Flash is losing a couple minerals, I guess. He really likes to do this on two player maps, especially. Yeah, look at that explosion. He just doesn't. I don't know. So what I've considered is that because everything got sharper and remastered, the explosion does not look sharp. It still looks kind of like, you know, it's the the pixels are all mushed up together and that's a little it doesn't weird. look super clean. By the way, yeah, this is a weird. this is a random thing, but like, is it just me or do like ramps look flatter in remastered? Um, I have to take a look a closer look at them. Yeah, yeah, you're right, a little bit. Like I maybe it's maybe it's just like a weird perspective or anything, but like it's just like sometimes I look at the ramps and I'm like. That ramp is like totally flat. Like this one right here, the inverted one. Looks yeah, like... the inverted ones definitely look flat. <laughs> but that might just be that might just be one of those things where the the inverted ramps were never designed to actually work in this game, right? Weren't they like originally like somewhat hacked into the game? Yeah. So it was like an SCM draft or whatever that people had to hack and uh, fix up their the mapping thing, which I'm glad they did because it makes maps super super good. Like long, elongated ramps were never a thing back in the old um the old uh, version so right so just this annoying pressure coming out at the front i always say that uh the easy way to remember how many scvs you need to have on the bunker is uh however many dragoons are hitting it that's the easy yep. way to tell 
that is always the right way to do it. Um, SCVs are able to repair, uh, out repair uh, dragoons um, one for one. So, you know, pretty standard here. Flash is gonna get an SCV scout, and it's gonna be able to see the nexus before this SCV does go down. So he's got all the information. Is he gonna scout he in the main? Okay. I mean, nope. I, it's always it's always <laughs> nice to see into the main, but poor SCV. I like SCV how little SCV down. has a nuke that comes out of it. You know, <laughs> it's pretty legit. It's it's driving me crazy. I I hate the. Uh, the new animation for SCVs, the like boosters, they're so bright, man. A lot of people yeah, saying they, they look like Reapers from StarCraft 2, and that's like 100% spot on. Yeah, they are. Um, I, yeah, I do miss it. They're, they're, yeah, they're just way too bright. I wish they went back to kind of like the duller blue that they uh, emit in the regular. So. Wait, they, they emit blue normally? Uh, oh, no, no, sorry, sorry. It's like a duller red. Right. Yeah, it's not yeah, blue. it's it looks more like the like dropships have it, and there's the support base. So like I like I expected, Bisu is going to be going into his trademark Reaver drops while taking a fast third behind this. Yep, so Flash definitely needs to get that engineering bay up to get missile turrets out in position, and uh, yeah, God, dude, I just hate Reavers because I for whatever reason I just never have the eBay in on time. <laughs> well, I, I don't know why, dude. What I, what I love about this build is. Um, the Reavers basically prevent any sort of aggression early on from Terran, not because they actually like do any damage, uh, but just because they're a threat. And that's what I really love about yeah, this build. Yeah, it's kind of like Mutas. Yeah, it's, it's a control build where all you have to do is build the Reaver and the shuttle, and then you just fly it around your opponent's base, and that's enough for you to take a third base. I mean, obviously you want to do some damage, um, and you should try to get in as much damage as possible, but you don't necessarily have to do it in order to um, pull even with your opponent. There's the engineering bay. Scan's already up, and uh, Flash has just got two tanks sitting back here, waiting for that reaver. We're gonna see if the scan is able to pick up the shuttle or the support bay that will reveal to Flash exactly what Beast is up to. Um, but Beast has the support bay off in a in a pretty good location to kind of avoid any scans here. The eBay is just about to finish. We're gonna have to see. Yeah, Flash is already positioning SCV there for missile turrets. So you doubted he's gonna Flash. Be time. <laughs> you doubted Flash. <laughs> Flash. I, I did. I did. Flash is I always forgot. crisp on his timings. That's true. He is always crisp. I also forgot that uh, it's cross map and shuttles move slow as sin before they get the speed upgrade. In fact, yeah, I look believe how, look how slow they are. <laughs> yeah. Up until they get the shuttle speed, and then they're like I don't know, F F one racing pods, like they're, much. They're, they're like the wow, the pods yeah, from StarCraft. That turn, man. <laughs> they're like the racing pods in like StarCraft Episode One, right? Yeah, something like that. You're just like zoom, zoom, basically. Uh, Flash has got a go first wipe out already, so that's really good. Can you do that for me one more time? <laughs> no, stop. Is this second no. one gonna be up perfectly on time too? Oh, okay, not quite. No, not not yet. But, but he's, he's got, got he's Goliath. already got Goliaths. And, and oh my God, he's boosters. already got Goliath range upgrade upgraded. Unless that's just like new graphics, but I think it's no, it's no, that is range. definitely Sharon boosters. That's pretty intense. He's got that before any Volsh upgrade, so he's just going pure. Uh, did he just scan now. that that observer too? That was sick. Uh, no, he didn't actually pick so. it off, but <clears throat> I'm pretty sure he scanned out there and saw the observer coming into his base. So he knows it's there. Speed is also now done for that shuttle, so it's gonna be super super annoying. Flash is gonna try to secure his third base in the meantime. Right now, BC is already looking to gear up to take that fourth base. Remember, the Protoss want to tr try to be one base ahead at all times. He's got quite a few dragoons here, but you know, just these siege tanks in really good position. Oh, he did scan the observer. I just saw the the explosion go off in the corner there. Yeah. Uh, but here comes the shuttle. Uh, not gonna go in. Had a perfect opportunity to, but I guess BC just really wanted to push Flash units back and get them out of position. Yeah. Well, like I said, you don't really necessarily have to do damage. Uh, you go in there. If you go in there with your uh, with your shuttle, you end up maybe trapping the shuttle inside there. Flash has got the Goliaths outside of his base. All he has to do is walk them in front of the ramp, and that shuttle is 100% trapped in there. So I think it was a smart idea from Bisu to just say, you know what, that's fine. I'll just pull back. I've got my third base up and running. I'll just continue to pressure my opponent, not go too crazy. Yeah, but here comes the big factory explosion now that he's taking his third base. Already got that starport going down to try to get that science facility and get the second armory up to get that 2-1 upgrade coming out. And uh, Beast has actually got a second shuttle. Is this like a bulldog build, basically? Um, maybe, honestly. But the shuttle's going to try to run in here. He's got a reaver. He's going to try to pick off some of these tanks. Or, nope, guess it's just to go picked up again. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Flash is just, he's so on point. Anytime, like, the shuttle even, you know, barely reveals on the mini map, he's got units in position running towards it. So it's just, it's amazing how on point Flash always is. Um, in the meantime, I think that Bisu is just going to be, it looks like he's actually gearing up to take a fourth up in the 12 o'clock position. 
Yep. <laughs> Jesus, that explosion. I just can't take this seriously at all. Anyways, Flash actually is able to- Ooh, snipes is, This is a bulldog. Yeah, it is a bulldog build here, but Flash has got those back tanks there that are really going to help out to deal with those zealots that are coming in. The Reaver Micro is pretty good from Beast, who's able to get in those scares onto those three big clump tanks. A couple of the front tanks go down, but again, the the reinforcement tanks in the back are just too good, and Beast just loses everything with this push. Also, two of those Dragoons AI <laughs> off that barracks. Really smart thing for Flash to have that. The Reaver is still alive, though, which is really important. Make sure that, you know, BC still has some pressure with that Reaver coming out. And now that Flash knows that he's pretty much secured for the rest of this game, at least in the mid-game, he's able to probably grab a fourth command center very, very quickly because of that failed attack there from Bisu. Yeah, that Barracks is the real MVP in that fight. Just soaked up so much damage from a couple of Dragoons um, and, and ended up turning that well in favor of... Flash, but actually, Beast is oh, gonna try. Gonna go he's gonna go in again. More zealots getting on top of these tanks. Is he gonna be able to kill off a bunch of these tanks? That would definitely be good for him. Doesn't quite oh, get that last one. Repair OP, man. He's able <laughs> yeah. to save that last one, but you know, at the same time, now that Flash has got a bunch of these vultures out, those zealots are not long for this world. And uh, yeah, Beastu is oh, Beastu's already down to supply because of those failed attacks. So this is really scary here. He's got to make sure that he watches out for this counter push here from Flash. Flash could do a ton of damage with this one. But no, he's just gonna really push Beast's units back, tell him to respect him. I don't think the Flash actually has the tank count now to uh, do a counterattack. It's still a little bit low because Bisu did such a good job of shaving off all those tanks. Uh, basically, the way I always describe playing against Mech is just you want to shave off as many tanks as possible. If he can kill off as many tanks, uh, like a lot of tanks early on, then it just lowers, um, it just delays the turn push for a long, long time. So I think it's so far this is going pretty well for Bisu. He's got that fourth base up and running now, and uh, he'll definitely have the tech and the uh, the gateway units that he needs by the time a big push does come his way. Dude, I love Zealots, man. They'll tank a splat. Uh, they'll tank a mine, kill off like five vultures, and still be alive with the splat. <laughs> my life for Iron. Yeah, my life for Iron, man. I really wish that Flash actually would just get one wraith out just to kind of patrol his bases and you know basically harass that shuttle. Because um, right now, the shuttle's been alive for far too long, in my opinion. Flash already got plus one, plus one here. Probably getting about plus two uh, very quickly. Probably, that that guess, scouting that probe? <laughs> yeah, I guess. This engineering bay uh, overhead here is going to be able to also oh, is he going to suicide this? Uh, this? Oh, okay. Whew, I was a bit scared he was actually going to go crazy and suicide that. Um, but, you know, it, wouldn't it be nice if Terran had a nice mineral-only OP unit as well, right? I know, yeah. I know you're drooling all over the Zealot, but I, I understand, you know how difficult it is for Terran not to have a mineral-only unit that's uh, completely OP and I mean, destroys everything you know, in the battle. 20, 20, da <laughs> 20 damage concussive missiles with with uh, mini nukes in the ground. And you're, you're right. You're right. They don't, they don't do very well against a building, so I'll give you that. Uh, and and tankier units like the Dragoon, but they still do it a lot because they're always in high amounts of uh, unit count. So, picked off two Dragoons there, he's going to get out. And, uh, yeah, again, God, those explode. I just can't take them seriously. I wish that Blizzard would fix those because they just look so silly. But Well, the the game should be easily updatable for now on, and I think we will probably have a graphics update at some point in the future. Uh, just because everything is online now, it's easy to update. They don't have to release wonky patches that everyone has to, like, download. Uh, individually on their computers, it'll just automatically patch the Bnet. Yeah, I mean, listen, the buildings look beautiful. Besides, you know, the Zerg buildings not having the correct shadowing on them, but the rest of the buildings look beautiful. It's just that these explosions are a little bit much. See, like the spire mines are perfect, right? They they basically kept the old one from Starcraft Broodbore, and that's that's what I really like. The new explosions don't have the integrity of what Broodbore explosions were. All right. I'm sorry, I'm nitpicking because I think think about it. In a big nah. fight, you're gonna have like billions of tanks and vultures exploding. You're just gonna see like that's massive. Ex that's exactly what you want to see, man. That's that's how that's what makes it a great spectator sport oh when everything explodes, God. right? No. So plus two plus one is now finished for Flash. It looks like he's actually gonna be moving across the map, going for that big death push. Yep, here comes a 2-1 timing, and Beast, right as he establishes that fifth base over there, this is a really good timing here from Flash. Beast, it looks like he doesn't have actually that many units out here to defend against this, and it looks like Flash is actually going to up, push up towards that 12 o'clock position, maybe wants to get rid of that fourth base, which has been mining for a little bit. But here it comes, here's the big attack right here. A lot of Zealots from the back right now, and Flash's tank line is pretty deep. That's what's really important about this. A lot of the Vultures right now in the front are able to soak up a lot of the Zealot pressure, but there's not enough Spider Mines, no Spider Mines here to really kill off all these Zealots and, and soak them down, or... You know, soften them up and yeah, it's, Beast wow, is Beast. yeah, Beast is going to be pushing in through here. Even uh, if this is an even trade, it's a winning trade for Protoss. You always, I always say that you want to trade 
uh, zealots nice for farm. gas units. If you kill off the, all the gas units, you're in a great position as the Perros player. Yeah, really good uh, fight there from BC Flashes. Didn't have any of those mines in position right now. But look at this Flash at the top left position. He's got a hidden fifth base coming up right now. That if this goes up for a really long period of time, BC was. You know, he's going to be really surprised that Flash is going to be able to macro so much. Meanwhile, Bisu is trying to grab that bottom right for himself right now. He's going to try to get add on some more gateways. But these Vultures, unfortunately, not going to be able to get up there. The pylon's already done. He's going to run run those away. Definitely don't want to lose, like, 12 Vultures for free. What do you mean? Vultures are free. They don't cost oh, money. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways. Uh, so the, the, the real coming up. I feel like the real bad thing to losing Vultures is just you can't make tanks out of those. <laughs> Yeah, uh, those or, or, right. or they forgot to make, uh, or forgot, forgot, uh, forgot to put down spider mines. That's like the worst part about losing. Oh man, I lost twenty <laughs> vultures. I forgot I could put down sixty spider mines. <laughs> but yeah, you're talking about that expansion up in the top left. It's going down, and BC still hasn't scattered it. If this actually gets up off the ground, it could be the godsend that Flash needs to actually get back in this game after getting his first push crushed so badly. Yeah, generally the fourth gas is what really makes a Terran be able to just start pumping out massive amount of tanks. And, you know, Flash, I think he's got to add a, a couple more factors right now because he's floating a bunch of supply. Well, I guess I guess because he's maxed out right now, but he he's, he's floating a ton of minerals right now. I would add on like three more factories just for vultures so they can pump out more of those. Just, you know, throw them at the enemy and try to harass with them. Beast in the meantime has Arbiters out for a very long time. I don't, I'm not sure if he's got Recall or Stasis out first right now. Um, looks like, ooh, there was an Arbiter here. Uh, maybe the Arbor will, will see that there's the hidden base over there for Flash. Mm -hmm. I feel- Oh! Oh, hallucination! Hallucination! Oh, He's trying to spread them out so they don't get EMP'd, maybe. Um, but this is very nicely done. Are they going to actually be able to get in there? Flash knows that this is coming. Uh, this might actually even just be a fake. Yeah, it could be, but here come the Arbiters. We'll see if it is a fake or not. The couple of Arbiters have gone into the main base of Flash right now. A couple of them, the hallucinations, did die off right now. But BC's units are not in position to, for a recall right now. That's the most important thing. Where We're going to see if they're going to group up at all for it. No recall has gone down. Flash's tank line this time very, very deep. He's got those vultures in the front to try to kill off all those zealots before they're able to crash onto the tank line. He's doing a pretty good job with it this time. BC doesn't look like he's going to be able to take this fight. Flash's tank line just way too deep. Yeah, I don't know, but more reinforcements coming in. The spider mine hit's got to be good. That was a really great stasis. stasis. Yeah, really good stasis, but again, there's, there's not enough zealots. They came in a little too late here. Yeah, he's going to be able to kill off a lot of these vultures and tanks still, but I think the rest of these units will be cleaned up by Flash's reinforcement units. He's also still got those three tanks and stasis right now, and he really, yeah, definitely wants to turn around and pick off all these SCVs here at this 9 o'clock position right now. BC is also adding on a bunch of those gateways right now. Both players are almost at zero gas right now, so it's basically going to be vultures versus zealots for a long period right, of time. But, I mean, is this actually a loss for Bisu? Honestly, this looks really good for Bisu. He's got that uh, six base up in running. Uh, he's going ahead and getting more energy on these Arbiters while he wastes time over here. And once again, he's deleted the tank line. There's no more tanks. Yeah, but the problem is, again, that the, there's just not enough, uh, you know, repair? gas right now. Oh, repair. Flash, not repairing the the command center. It's going to go down, actually. This is really bad. Oh, no, that goes down. So actually, Bisu, I think it was finally able to even even that fight up. He just flashes throw that command center right on the dead one. Um, it's pretty funny. Yeah, where were those reinforcements earlier? Just send a couple of uh, vultures. They they kill dragoons, right? Vultures kill everything. Yeah, yeah I agree. No <laughs> recall though. The arbor did go down, or maybe his double hallucination. Yeah. But Flash is now finally taking that refinery. He really should have taken it a while ago to continue his tank production up. And that's again, that's what's really important is keeping that tank count up, being able to get a lot of that gas right now. And B so I don't think has scouted it. No, I don't think he has. Let's yeah. see it. Yeah, he hasn't seen it. So this is really bad for Bisu. If Flash is able to secure this fourth gas and just retain it and not lose anything for it, it is going to be so bad for him in the long run. Yeah, it's definitely good. And another big push coming out across the map. Is Bisu just going to run headlong into this again? He doesn't have enough Dragoons. He just doesn't have the Dragoon count right now to be able to really brute force his way in. Yeah, he's got the, the Zealot count, but he needs Dragoons to be able to supplement those. In the meantime, Flash, again, the Flash is base. Another hallucination here. Maybe with that, he's gonna maybe try to use a bait with a hallucination to kind of force Flash units back. But here comes another big attack here. But again, he's got to pull back. Just doesn't have enough units right now. Flash is already maxed. Beast is not even maxed. But here come the Arbors. Flash has seen it. He's seen it. We'll have to see how he's rest. He's pulling all these units back right now. We'll see if one of these is a real one or if they're both hallucinations. I think they're one both hallucinations. hallucinations. So he's they're gonna he's gonna get on top of the tank lane. Is still there? I don't think they on siege. They oh they on siege. Oh they on siege. This is terrible <laughs> for Flash right now. Oh a big stasis catching off like three or four tanks right there. But Flash, I'm not. Maybe he's got too many. 
many units. BC just doesn't have the unit count to really deal with this. It was a great bait. The Zealots are coming in here, being able to pay off. Mosey takes a great storm. All the vultures right now, and Fox units are disappearing in seconds. But BC just doesn't have the units either right now. Yeah, this is so close right now. It's it just Bisu is doing such a great job, but he just doesn't have the macro to follow up. And now he's going to see that SCV coming down from the high ground, taking that base over in the top left hand corner. Maybe he's going to think, oh, maybe this something's up. Maybe Flash has had a, a hidden base all game. Beast is flooding 2k minerals. I really want him to just add like five or so gateways to that to that proxy base over there at the bottom right hand location. But there's the <laughs> problem is that Flash has been able to really keep up in terms of uh, the macro. <laughs> that there's that Reaver. The game is still alive. <laughs> oh my god, eight kill Reaver now. That had still been alive, killing him a bunch of those SCVs and nukes going off all those SCVs. But it, I don't know if it's a little too little too late. Flash can lose that mining base. Doesn't matter. He's still got that top left hand base for himself and. He's really pushing in now to Beast's bottom right portion of this base. He's also killed off that third three o'clock expansion now. Is that so a Beast fake is... drop coming into the main right now? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on right now on that other side of the map. But yeah, it's like again, just flash. Oh just yeah, it was. There was a big recall oh, in the main. Recall. Yeah, it was a big recall in the main. We're gonna see if Flash is able to have force the pull units back, or is he just trying to try to use his uh, factories to uh, reinforce here. He's got a really good position. The problem with this recall was it was at the very back of Flash's base, which means that the factories, the, the when the units pop out of the factories, they're not gonna immediately die. And so he's able to kind of remacro a, a second army here in this main base. I just don't think it's enough. B series doesn't have enough units back here. They weren't in a good position. He's already lost the three o'clock. He's lost the natural at the bottom right. All the units here going down. Yeah, he's gonna go supply cap Flash for a period of time but at the same time you know flash has just got this top left hand base going down the shuttle's gonna finally go down to that goliath <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, okay okay oh, no, didn't he, he didn't <laughs> oh, oh god <laughs> that was one of those moments where the game could have shifted dramatically <laughs> yeah it would have uh but with this reaver hero reaver 17 kill reaver it's finally gonna be able to go down soon to, to these tanks uh but yeah again i still don't think bc knows he knows that scv came up from there but I don't know if he knows that the base, how long that base has been up for. He's got two shuttles here randomly, um, but Flash is, you know, again pushing into this uh, this bottom right base. Once his bottom right base goes down, it, it's over. He's uh, going on the offensive down here. It looks like he's trying to clean up this base. He might be able to get it, but the CC is already up in the air and floating away. It might actually be able to get into the dead space on time. Yeah, he's gonna be able to pick off all those SCVs at the back, which is really good. He's gonna pick off probably about a control group worth of SCVs, but oh my he god, his he, army? Here. he overextended himself. He pushed too many units down to the low ground. Flash is gonna be able to pit his army in, and he's gonna pick off all of these units right now. They're just trying to get off, off of this low ground area, but the siege tanks are in position already. Wow, what a blunder by Bisu. Yeah, maybe a little bit overzealous to get into that base and kill it off. He's gonna lose his entire army out of this, and Flash is A moving. He doesn't even worry about sieging. He knows he's. So far ahead, he can keep doing I mean, this, but... Uh, just look at that tank count right now. It is it is extremely high. There's not enough zealots to really counter this. Oh, pincer to get it from those reinforcements there at the natural <laughs> base. The entire army for Beastie goes down. Flash is going to move up, kill off this mineral-only base here. Oh, the Nexus! The knock it canceled. So, again, losing 400 minerals right there for free, basically. Oh, 3-3 mech is just so strong right now. Yeah, it's uh, insane. Beastie is still up in supply, though. He's 20 up in supply, so there's a possibility with... Uh, that he can't overwhelm his opponents as long as he gets a good flank in but it doesn't look like that's the case he's just going to engage straight into these tanks with all these elts and hope for the best yeah but oh my gosh there's so many tanks out and even though there's not that many vultures there's too many tanks that the vultures even though i mean the zealous even though they're really good against tanks they just got cleaned up right there more zealous here in the back area try to clean up these tanks but again oh my god oh he's just gonna see it now oh he's mined out 500 minerals from each patch so flash is mined out almost 5,000 minerals worth of resources from this base it's already paid himself I don't know how many times over. I think that that's Bisu overextended too much because he didn't realize that he had this mining base up here, that he thought that he was ahead in this game because he was still mining from his bottom right base. But little did he know, Flash had a mining base his entire time. Yeah, this is starting to, wow, was that was that a pylon going down? That explosion yeah, that was, was gigantic. <laughs> I know. Oh my god. Uh, he is going to finally clean up uh, some of these tanks up in the top left-hand corner, but more reinforcements coming down, and it's just going to be a slow siege until uh, this base up in the 12 o'clock goes down as well.
Yeah, I mean, Flash is now up at 160 supply to 115 for BC. BC is falling way too far behind his supply right now. He just doesn't have the macro anymore. He doesn't have the resources. Lost 3 o'clock. Lost the, the bottom right natural. Now he's going to lose this base. And yeah, there's not many minerals left over in this base, but he just doesn't have any mining left. His main is naturals run dry. His mineral only is about to run dry as well. He's going to be at one base mining, whereas Flash has resecured that 9 o'clock expansion. He's still got mining coming out at the 6 o'clock and this top left, as we all know, has been up for, I don't know, for about a year at this point. So yeah, yeah, Flash is Tribune double massacre over there. Man. There's the GG. There's GG. Well played by Flash. That that hidden base really secured the deal, I think. And you know, if Flash didn't have that base, he would have been really hard pressed to continue to remacker that tank line. Bisu, I think, realizes, yeah, I kind of got cheesed a little there. Got that <laughs> hidden base. Yeah, that was definitely his saving grace. Uh, Bisu ahead in bases for most of the game, but just that critical mistake of not checking the corner base, not expecting Flash to take a hidden base. He really came back to bite him, maybe a little bit of hubris on his end.